Coming up next, my review of Oud for Greatness by Initial Parfums. Stay tuned. Welcome back everybody. This is Joel The Nose coming to you from Miami as always. And today I'm doing a full review of Oud for Greatness by Initio Parfums Privés. I say Initio for short. The French house. Okay, relatively new house. Great niche designer. Um, and I got this, you can see the, the package here. I have the sample package. That's what the bottle looks like, by the way. So you can see it there. It's beautiful. The designs are, are really, uh, just really elegant looking bottles. Uh, if you've seen them, I've seen them in Osme Perfumery where I got my sample. Um, so a lot of uh, attention and detail into this house. Um, just a little background on the fragrance. This was released in 2018, so it's about a year old. This is relatively new. Uh, it's a unisex eau de parfum, so this is a high concentration of fragrance. It is classified as a woody oriental, um, and the top notes listed are lavender, saffron, and nutmeg. Pretty cool. The heart notes are oud and agarwood oil. Agarwood is another word for oud. And then the base is patchouli and musk. So what's kind of cool here is this is a relatively simple fragrance. Um, and I like these, you know, from niche houses sometimes that are not trying to overdo it. Um, and so you, you can expect this is not going to be an overly complex, all over the place uh, dry down. It's going to be relatively linear. But even within these amount of fragrances that are in there, which are not a ton, you do get some complexity. So um, I've been wearing this all day from a decant I have. Um, I always give the caveat uh, when I wear a decant, you just don't get the same spray, the same coverage on your skin. So you're never going to get the same sillage or projection that you would from a full bottle atomizer. So I state that at the beginning. Um, but ne nevertheless, I've been wearing this all day. As usual, I spray both sides of the insides of my elbow, both sides of my neck, once behind my neck, and once in the back of my hand. I will spray it now so you can see my initial reaction. Okay. And here we go. Okay, it's beautiful. Um, it's... This, so I have a funny thing to say. You know, I've been doing a lot of oud fragrances lately, or reviewing the last few, uh, and I just reviewed Fall Into Stars uh, by Strange Love, which you may have seen, which was an oud based, and that was also for me a subtle. That's a brand new release, a subtle oud. This is also a subtle oud for me. I think maybe it's a trend in the industry that the the houses are pulling back on the oud a little bit. And they're going with higher quality but lesser amounts. Just a guess if I were to surmise what's happening here. Because in this fragrance, and I've been wearing it all day, um, the oud to me is very, very, very subtle. In fact, on the initial, that initial smell, I, I, it's hard for me to even detect it. It comes across almost as a fruity, spicy, effervescent, aromatic fragrance to me. Um, and in fact... I, I, you know, I wrote it down, the exact words I wrote down are, are round, not sharp, a little juicy, uh, only a hint of oud, almost, almost like a ripe fruit, um, like a tropical fruit, almost like a kiwi, kind of comes across as that to me. Uh, it's, it's, it's beautiful, it's very pleasant, it smells of super high quality, and even kind of a little woody, smoky essence. We have to kind of really breathe it in to get that smoke. If you just do that, I don't get the smoke, but when I go, I get that little hint of smokiness coming out. Um, after about an hour, it was still kind of sweet and fruity, not as smoky after about an hour or woody. It was a little bit more sweet. Uh, clearly, I think that's the, uh, you know, the saffron, um, the lavender also could have a kind of floral, fruity type depending on the mixture. So uh, I, I think that that combination of that saffron and that nutmeg, which gives a little effervescent spiciness. And this is how, how I described it after about an hour. 
it was like, do you guys know what a Shirley Temple is? Um, and I'm going to put a picture up here of a Shirley, well, not a Shirley Temple. A Shirley Temple is a drink it's, or a kitty cocktail. It's typically a lemon-lime soda, like Sprite, mixed with grenadine juice, which is a red, fruity, sweet juice. And I'm going to put a picture up uh, right here. And that's grenadine. So I love those as a kid. I'll be honest with you, my kids love them, and I still like to drink them every once in a while. They're very tasty to me. Right now, and even an hour in, it kind of smells like a Shirley Temple, which is very, very nice. I, I like it. Um, this fragrance, it is a unisex fragrance. I, I would say it lends slightly more feminine because of this kind of fruity vibe that I get from it. Um, even after a couple hours, the oud to me is so subdued that if you are afraid of oud, I think this is the fragrance for you to try out. It will be your a good stepping stone into the oud world. I think if you go for, you know, something very oudish in this oudvember period, you'll probably, you know, a lot of people are turned off by it. This is a good stepping stone, similar to Fall into the Stars, which I reviewed. Uh, I'll, I'll put up a card, Fall into the Stars, um, another oud base, which is also very subtle. I think both of these are going to be good intros into the oud world. Um, I would say after about three hours, it is very good sillage at that point still, and, and that's saying a lot considering I used the decant. I was getting good uh, a good kind of helmet, as I like to say, around my head. Um, I was getting decent projection for the decant, uh, and the skin scent was very warm. After about three hours, it kind of dried down into that patchouli musk warm, but it still had that sweet, sweet kind of, you know, kind of almost fruity essence going on. Uh, all the way almost to the end. And it lasted for me for about six hours before it was almost non-detectable. So six hours for me, I've said it before, is well more than enough because I always reapply at that point anyways. That usually gets me through the day. And then if I'm going to reapply before I go out at night, uh, for those of you looking for more, maybe on your skin it will give you a little bit more, but I got about six solid hours. So there you have it, my review for Oud for Greatness. I think this is an excellent... Uh, Excellent fragrance. I think this is something that most of you out there will love. I think it's going to be a crowd pleaser for the most part. I don't think it will really turn anybody off. I don't think this is going to be an oud that's going to be like people are going to, you know, shiver from at all. Um, and if you've tried it, please leave some comments. If you have any opinions about what I've said, please leave some comments. Please subscribe if you found this useful. If you want to learn more, see other videos. Santa is telling you to please subscribe. It's, you know, getting to that time of year. And I hope everybody's having a great one, and I will talk to you later. This is Joel The Nose.